Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another LEGO update. Mainly in this update, what I'm going to be talking about is the stuff that I'm currently doing right now in my LEGO room, today as I'm filming this episode. So the first thing is lots of BrickLink work. So considering the first part of July was completely dead in the BrickLink world for me, like, like one or two orders at most, this last couple days have been really taking off and as you can see I have three orders to go out. I shipped a couple orders out the other day already and I have some that are awaiting payment. So I've been doing a lot of BrickLink work. As you can see I have a lot of my inventory here and in these bins when I part out a set or add some new parts from like a pick a brick wall or something and I don't have any bags or boxes for them to go in I put them in these bins that are sorted by colors that contain these here. In the bin it contains either one or multiple colors separated by bags if there's more than one and it's all the pieces of that color just kind of randomly put in these containers. More lots, get you know, if I have one I, one of a lot of items I put them in their own bags here or all of one color in there. So what I'm trying to do is now that I have so made several more orders and I emptied out a lot of different bags and stuff like that, I'm working on going through all my inventory that doesn't have remarks and I'm working on adding remarks to them so as you can see I have this bin here where I'm just kind of throwing them off and there are pieces that just got put into bags for the first time so that's good and that's sort of the progress I'm working on I have these bins here only to do that happen to them and all these parts in this these bins here as you can see there are a lot of different parts there a couple hundred I think about a thousand in this bin and probably a couple hundred a couple couple hundred thousand, a couple more thousand in these bins here. So the goal is to eventually have all my inventory sorted in areas like this or in boxes like this underneath my Lego table here. In other works I actually cleaned out this entire area under my Lego city here under the Lego table. It was really messy before and stuff was just piled in there. There was it was taking up no space and it was just a catch on. So push this out of the way. And it's very dark down here, but as you can see I added this storage container and I really started organizing everything. So I have lots of Christmas stuff. Some products I really need to do a video on, but I'm probably not going to. Bags, cups, pick a brick cup lids, as you can see lots of those. Instructions and Lego magazines and things like that and then behind this shelf there you can definitely probably can't see so I'll move this container here as you can see those are all boxes from different Lego order and things like that I saved them all I'm not really sure and then up at the top here I have all the different mobile mailers because I am a pack rat and like to save everything one benefit of cleaning out that area in the leg room, I actually found this whole bin of just different Lego creations, Lego mocks, like parts of Lego sets. No idea what's on this bin, it's like a Lego shop at home box, I've got to go through all that. You know, there's lots of different things in there that I need to go through and kind of do stuff with. Another thing I changed in my leg room, as you can see, I added these shelving units, so that's pretty cool here. I couldn't actually find one of the red ones, so it must be used in another room or something like that. So for now, I just have these blue ones at the bottom to change it up a little. Here I have a bunch of Lego lights that I'm going to do some special projects with very soon. And other than that, not too much else to say. As you can see here, I have lots of different poly bags and stuff like that. And in this box here, I have a ton of different Lego minifigures for sale. Everything in my Brickling store is actually on sale if you're interested or anything like that. There's a link down below. You can check it out. There's like 25% off carts, 15% off minifigures, 10% off sets. I think it's 10% off sets, but just some deals like that to kind of fill the void for the summer gap because I don't get very many orders in the summer, mainly in the school year. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoyed this like Lego update and you want to see more videos like this. Typically videos where I talk about my Bricklink store, people don't really like them because they don't really want to hear about it. But if you enjoyed, like, let me know. Maybe I'll talk about it more. Or if you didn't enjoy it, let me know and I won't talk about it at all. So thanks everybody for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this Brick Lover 18 LEGO update.